Thank you for almost throwing me under the bus there, Tarun. You got me. Okay, so Toastmasters, good evening once again. I'm here to present about our observations about the meeting and what went well. And most important of all, what can we all learn from today's session that we can use for our next meetings going forward. So the very first thing that I would like to highlight and commend actually is the Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Ashutosh, for starting the meeting at exactly 7 p.m. So I cannot emphasize how important that is because even though some of the role takers, evaluators, etc., etc., were not in the session at 7 p.m., we still started the session. And that is very important because if we say, suppose to, if we had said today, oh, we'll wait for two minutes, we'll wait for five minutes, we'll start at 7 or 5, what will happen is the next meeting will also start at 7 or 5, 7 or 10, so on and so forth. And then the members, that's all of us, myself included, all of us included, we will start to become complacent. We will start showing up at 7, 5, 7, 10. So when the meeting is due to start at 7, whoever the sergeant announces, announce it. today it's Ashutosh, tomorrow it could be any one of our new members be any one of you, please try to make sure that the meeting starts at 7 p.m. So that's very good. Right, so let's straight away get started with our speech evaluations. I'd like to welcome on stage our first evaluator for today. Uh, for today. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Vandika to present her evaluation for Toastmaster Jagdisha. <laughs> Uh, again, good evening to Toastmasters and fellow guests, and especially Toastmaster Jagdisha. So, starting off uh, with the opening, I'm just going to directly jump into the content of the speech. Uh, so, the opening started off, uh, you're basically a soft-spoken person, and you made sure that weakness wasn't on stage. As soon as he was here, he's like, "That's uh, it's not me outside stage, am I audible? So, that, that shows you're confident and you're not letting your weakness show on the stage. I love that. Then, obviously, starting with a quote, great opening as usual. And then, not telling I was bored at this day. That's boring. World Cup, guys. What an amazing connection, relation, and the way to introduce yourself. From birth, he went to place, date, and then family. So, purpose of the speech, men. That was the purpose. And apart from that, there was also the basic structure of the speech. After he went from this, he went to his studies. And when up in those studies was his content. How he, he was at his peak and then he got distracted and then again he was at his peak. That was his content with different usage of stories from different parts of his life. A perfect icebreaker. And mind you guys, in this content were lines like, Bird who flew out of the cage, wanted to touch the moon, but I have the ladder in my hand. Monkey released in front. So usage of the English language and the speech writing um, uh, way or the style was superb. This was your icebreaker. Great job on that. Coming from content, if you guys see, even in the content, subtly he had the life lesson. Knowledge is everything. Subtle way of giving his advice was also great. And then um, coming uh, coming to the end, uh, you know, what I really loved, if you see, he had a stance. He was looking here, there, eye contact was perfect. His hand gestures, if you guys observed, were perfect. And um, his speech structure and writing skill were, again, as I told, were really good. And then coming to the flow, did you guys see, in his first speech as an icebreaker, did he uh, stop anywhere? Did the flow cut? I need the answer guys. No, 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 right? That shows how much he practiced. How much he practiced for this speech today. And then finally, the part I love the most and it's so hard to do this is making your audience laugh. So who talked? Guys, when is the energy so who talked? You guys laughed. And I'm telling you, that's your takeaway for today, and that's the sign that it was a success. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Toastmaster Bhatika, for evaluating Jagdish's speech in such a way that it inspires him and encourages him to uh, come forward with your next speech. We look forward to your next project, and we will be all here and all yours. Now, I'd like to highlight one very important point about Bhatika's evaluation, which I think was very well done. See, very often what happens is during evaluations, the evaluator is only talking to the speaker. You said this, you said that, you did this, you did that. It's all fine. But what Bhatika did very well, was evaluate the speech in the third person. Jambish did this, he said this, he said that, and this is what was good about it, and this is what we can try and implement in our own speeches. That I think was very good, because it's important to remember for all of the evaluators, if you're evaluating a speech, the evaluation session is about the speaker, yes, but the session is for everybody. So we're trying to dissect the speech for all of us to learn. And it's important to address the entire audience with reference to that speech. So I think Bhandika did that very well, so thumbs up Bhandika. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Can I welcome on stage our second evaluator of tonight, Toastmaster Jay Prakash. Greeting <laughs> again. So, uh, when you mentioned about you winning the competition, I expected something then high pitch. I won the competition. Or when you when, when you came to know the friend, I went to ask what should I want to So, we, maybe that you could uh, change in speech. <coughs> But the speech had content, it had good quotes, like one quote was the height of boredom creates the depth of failure. And also a very good conclusion. It says there's no morality in something. I feel the potential to hold on to your mistakes here and uh, your great speech. Thank you. You know, I always wanted to be positive and optimistic and all of this, but it's very difficult. It's easy to say positive, optimism, etc., etc. But what uh, Toastmaster Jeff Prakas told us just now was actually very good. It's simple and to the point and impactful. Hope is like soap. We use it every day. So that's very good. I really uh, enjoyed that anecdote, uh, Jeff Prakash. Now, there's one interesting thing that I'd like to point out over here is that even the audience at the front row was unable to catch that anecdote. Is that right? Yes. We were unable to catch that. And I think this is a recurring issue, so maybe I think Ashita is not here, but one thing that we can do, and I even heard this from my peers at the back rows over there, we often struggle, as a we as in generally, we often struggle to, at the back, the guys at the back struggle to hear what the speaker is saying sometimes. So maybe we can try and uh, introduce some kind of system in place. I don't know if you like guys know this, but Shruti over here is an audio expert. So maybe we can consult Shruti on how we can get this audio. <laughs> Audio techniques. Oh, no, this is the <laughs> Just FYI. Of course, you wouldn't know that. Yeah, actually. Shruti over here is an audio expert. So maybe we can get some ideas in the subsequent meetings on how we can um, 
reduce this problem of the uh, audio not being able to transmit to the back, uh, back rows over there. And you pointed out one thing, Jet Prakash, about the intonation, which actually they just did very well. I won the contest, but at the same time, I heard that my uh, Geet, I think her name was, went to an accident. So there was intonation there, but at the back, you could not hear it. Now, this is okay if you have a small crowd, but as Sunshine Toast Masters grows and become bigger, we have 100 people in, the, in this room, 10 rows of audience, this might not be a good way to present it. So there's no problem with Tejas' speech. I think the issue is with our setup. We need to try and do something about that. So maybe Shruti or Tarun, not Tarun, but uh, Harshita, whenever she's uh, able to listen to this, we can try and implement some system in place to make our audio better. Right? But good speech, they just, the intuition was there, thumbs up, all the best for your next speech. <laughs> Please help me welcome on stage our third evaluator to uh, evaluate our experienced Toastmaster, uh, Toastmaster Akash. On stage, please, Toastmaster Jay Shankar. So I'm going to, I'm going to highly uh, repeat the guidelines. The guidelines of the speech were to uh, basically present the speech about uh, how those parts of the mission is metric and uh, give uh, a piece of uh, their own, share a personal life story which uh, they went through when they were getting mentored as well. And on that note, uh, Mr. Akash, I'd like to confirm that you have met both the objectives. So, congratulations on completing that particular speech. You are at 2 3 That said, going into the uh, aspects of what went well in your speech and what you can improve upon, I have a theory that went really well in your speech and maybe theory that you can uh, improve upon. First up, you started a speech uh, by stating a date. Like you said, 21st March, uh, sorry, uh, May 2019. So that immediately brings that in everyone's attention to you because everyone wants to know what happened that day, who was involved, and what really happened. So that was written very well. Some people, I mean, uh, even uh, questions can be asked, but I felt this is a very good way of uh, starting your speech as well. So, who was on that? Second aspect of it was. Uh, your story arc was completely in mostly in chronological order. You started and what happened and how you took up a role and then so on and so forth. That makes it easy for the audience to follow on what is happening in each new speech. The third portion of it which was uh, you had, you divided the speech on communication track and leadership track which differentiates and brings out the contrast when it comes to the nuances of a Toastmaster's journey. And uh, as an experienced Toastmaster you were able to bring it out so we did a good job on that. One of the one aspect of it which went really well was you mentioned that getting mentored as a mentee is an individualistic experience and that is so true. It is dependent on, dependent on multiple mentors and how their styles are and because you had the opportunity to be mentored by two different uh, individuals, you brought out the differences in their mentorship styles as well. So good job on that. And when it comes to what could be improved in terms of your uh, speech, the three things that I would like for you to look into is uh, maybe when you said uh, every you would uh, give your speech at the last minute, distinguished Toastmaster Priyadarshi, and you would mentor it, and it happened over and over. You would probably brought out a scenario where you basically gave a speech back to back every every day for a week, and uh, that would have added basically a little bit more credibility for your mentor and shown what, to what lengths mentors go to help their mentees. That is one. Second thing is one or two lines about uh, the differences between a mentor and a coach would have made sure that contrast is uh, seen, sort of. And I basically have one last bone to pick with you. You kept saying what is a mentor. It could have been either who is a mentor or what is mentoring. That would have been uh, better. One last aspect of it was uh, you did take 7 minutes 35 seconds. So it was like 5 seconds a little bit over the time limit. Please uh, rehearse a couple of times ahead of time so that you fall within the time limit. Spreading the process all the points I did, uh, again, uh, I had to convey to you. Great speech, keep giving more speeches. Over. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Master Judge. I like your point about the time. See, five seconds might not seem like a lot, and maybe at the club level we can overlook that. We can say, okay, no problem, just round it up to seven minutes, 30 seconds, and continue with the uh, voting, which is fine at a club level. But as you progress, once you go to the contest, division level contest, area level contest even, there, even one second off or two seconds off, the speech will be discounted, even if you're one second off. Right? So, it's, uh, it might seem like insignificant, but I would encourage everyone to keep that aspect of time in mind. 
We want to keep our masterpiece features within those frames, as we heard a little earlier. All right, so we then had so those are the prepared features. Before, then we had the interval, but before the interval, there was no secretary report today. Um, please reply what happened last week. I'll remove the secretary report. Oh, you removed it? Okay, fine. That is right. This is one right. Ensure uh, we are ending the meeting within that time. Oh, okay, thanks. So for the for the benefit of the guests who don't know, secondary report is what happened in the previous meeting. Uh, highlights synopsis of what happened in the previous meeting, which was missing this time, but nevertheless, we then had the interval. Now the interval we had the uh, the, um, the snacks. You know, so uh, sunshine is known for brilliant snacks that we provide. So I thought. <laughs> 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 Actually, thanks to thanks to thanks to yeah. Today we had a different uh, set of snacks and. Uh, those are the fresh fruits, and uh, in the in light of being a sustainable, healthy, living world, what better to bring fresh, lively, ripened fruits for all of us to enjoy? How did you uh, guys enjoy the snacks today? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we then had our table topic session, and our Toastmaster Aritra was our table topic master. Very uh, very nice set of topics, Toastmaster Aritra. I like the fact that it was all related to the theme of the day, sustainability. Uh, related to making the earth a better place, which is our theme of the day, of course. Uh, and very importantly, Toastmaster Aritra brought on stage uh, members and guests who are not speaking today. So you want to encourage everybody who is attending the meeting to have at least some stage time. So whoever's doing the table topic master role in the future, try to keep an eye out for whoever's not spoken that day or who's not going to speak, and try to invite those folks on stage so that everybody has some kind of stage time of the other. One small uh, feedback that I would have for you, Aritra, is the table topic master is like the Toastmaster today, like the MC for that particular session. So maybe what you can do to make it more interactive and more energetic is to paraphrase what the table topic speaker has said very quickly. For example, Toastmaster's Marita, Toastmaster Marita speech. I went to this beautiful place and it was all amazing until I saw those uh, plastic wastes. So you can very quickly summarize by saying, please, the nature is beautiful, but it's the plastic waste that makes it ugly. So you have one small uh, caption like that at the end of every speech, just to round up the speech and then invite the next speaker on stage, which you can do and also everybody else can do. Because remember, table topic master, you are the MC of sorts for that particular session. So that's something for you, for us all to keep in mind. So very good over there. And I'd now, now like to call upon uh, my teammates to uh, present their reports, starting with our timer. Toastmaster Aranya, could you please tell us what your observations are? So, <clears throat> as you can tell, we start more time, uh, which is always great. So, start with now, so I should go about five minutes on the talk, which was very exciting. Our president, Ashita, spoke for about five minutes and 20 seconds. She also went with all the guests and the new members, that's about another three minutes on the board. <clears throat> Starting with the prepared speeches, first, so congratulations to all three of you for the speeches that you guys had. Uh, Icebreaker, Dabdish, who have been within the night, who spoke for 5 minutes and 38 seconds. Tejas, uh, who spoke for 7 minutes and 14 seconds. You did max out for 13 minutes, like it just phased out. Uh, Akash, like we have a who spoke for 7 minutes and 35 seconds, and 5 seconds more, but overall, um, I think we all did stay within the night. Uh, table topics, all the members exceeded the actual time, so I would like to flash the game for everybody. Uh, Hussain, who spoke for 1 minute and 37 seconds. Ashita, 1 minute 18 seconds, uh, Kamal, 1 minute 14 seconds, the newest switching and achieve, Kamal had about 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Now, coming to our evaluators, Pratika, 3 minutes and 9 seconds, uh, Jayaprakash, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and Jayashankar, 3 minutes and 9 seconds. So, all of them are better than the time frame that we defined, and we have 15 minutes to go to the table on time. Beautiful. Well, like one of the earlier one or two speakers that we slightly a few seconds over time, but we are going to overlook that for now. Correct? Do I have everybody's agreement on this? Can we overlook the few seconds that some speakers took? So everybody is eligible for voting. Yes? Everybody agrees? Yes? Okay. Ashutosh, everybody's name goes on the voting. Thank you for being in your We'll round it off this time. Majority. Alright, anyways. And so, um, our next um, role taker is the R counter. Uh, can we please have welcome on stage Shruti to present a report for today's meeting? 
Sachin. Reading those classes. So all of you were great today, especially Jatisha. As your evaluator mentioned that there were no pauses, there were no repetitive words, and there were no fillers. So congratulations on your ice rating and kudos to you. Um, so Harshita, Tarun, Jay Prakash, Aritra, and Kamal used filler words or buzz. Ashutosh, Harshita, Tarun. Uh, used uh, filler words and puns, and uh, our new member Harshita. So congratulations, Harshita! It takes courage to come on stage on your first day and speak. So you used filler words twice, uh, and there were some repetitive usage of words like "and" and "like." Others will be. Thank you. Next up, I'd like to welcome Mark Romarian to present his report for today's meeting. From Energy People for our newest member. Good afternoon, uh, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you. So, my report is as follows uh, The word brought forth these like TikTok, TikTok, something like that in terms of uh, usage. It was not a continuous rain, uh, there was not much usage. Basically, the POD and the general evaluator were the primary people. Uh, uh, generally, well, uh, so, uh, so, yeah. so, I think that's what we're going to do. So, that is for the word of the day. And then coming on to the next great thing, which was the quotes. Not the quotes today. So, uh, just one question I'd like to ask. I'll just run through it. Just, yeah, I like what you found. Yes. So, some great new names. Yeah. The reduce, reuse, recycle in today's world. So, let us leave this world better than how we found it three times. It was spoken three times. So, so it was de emphasized. Uh, another great one, we have to struggle when only you progress. Uh, height of boredom creates depth of creativity. Super. Nice. There is no, mora there is no morality in suffering. Good learning for me. Yeah. Uh, a very good one. Very relevant to the corporate life. The definition of the mentor relationship always comes from the mentor. Awesome. No one says that. But this is not the biggest takeaway here. And the last one, uh, hope is like a soul to the baby. On the speeches front, everybody was more or less totally uh, aligned on the grammar. Uh, but for some data hidden there, which I'm just uh, uh, going to. So the first one was obviously, when you're starting, you're not saying good afternoon. Then second one was I want to speak to you. I have to speak. Then uh, even I did not get a call after uh, basically doing so many things. Now the usage should have been I did not get a call even from there because the discussion was that you go to different places and you might say you didn't get a call. Another one. Go back to time. Should we go back to time? Uh, I gave up poem. Should we? I gave up poem. So, so and, and I think someone pointed this out. What is a mentor? It should be not what is a mentor, it should be uh, who is a mentor, or what is a role of a mentor. Uh, with that, everybody did a great job. Uh, congratulations, and thank you. <laughs> Admittedly, the world of the day today was a bit challenging, short. Uh, it's not the world that we use every day in general language. So, uh, there were only a few of us who were able to read that into our speeches. One suggestion, maybe uh, Postmaster Jatish, from Raipur, right? If you could mention that, okay, Raipur is a drop prone area or not a drop prone area. Just you could have done that spontaneously. Of course, it's easy to say and difficult to do, but just maybe some food for thought. And that's maybe an example of how you can include the word of the day in your speeches off the cuff. All right, now, the exciting session, one where we all get to be a part of it, the listener session. Chandan! We know Chandan is a good listener, but let's see if we all are equally good. Hello, Toastmasters, I'm back with the quiz. So, first, let me tell, tell the rules. I'm going to ask three questions, one after the other. So, you cannot shout the answers, you have to raise your hands, and then at the end, we have the tiebreaker. Right? Yes, yes. Understood. So, the first one is uh, probably an easy one, I would say. So, our president, Harshita, mentioned the uh, triple R, but she mentioned a, a year, the future. 
Okay, Marina. Okay, the next question is Jagadish Shah in his icebreaker mentioned his hobbies, two hobbies, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. 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 also listening. Badminton and chess. Correct. Okay, the third one. Um, TM Asitos mentioned continent, continent that doesn't have indigenous Commonwealth, right? <laughs> Along with it, he mentioned uh, a couple of four uh, or one more continent. Again, uh, Ashitosh mentioned a particular park where wolves went missing. Can anyone name it? Yes. Correct. So now we have uh, the last tiebreaker between Marita, Kamal, and Sunny. Can you guys stand up? So again, it is the uh, fastest uh, hands first. So whoever raises first will get the chance to answer the tiebreaker. So Toastmaster Atash mentioned two mentors in his speech. <laughs> The second mentor, yes. who, who mentored his leadership role, was a director of which division? What is the mentor uh, who mentored him in the leadership role? Mentored him. No, leadership role. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we know that uh, today's best listener is Toastmaster Marita. Toastmaster Marita, you're doing the next next newsletter. <laughs> Twist. Okay, so that's uh, um, we've almost come to the end of my, our report. Yeah, it was a very good meeting, good learnings for everybody, and uh, um, all the best for the next meeting as well. I shall now hand it back to our Toastmaster of the day. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'd like to. Uh, the most important was to really save the best for last, <laughs> and that person is Toastmaster Tarun. Now, see, as the Toastmaster of the day, it's very important to have a presence on stage, and to be in, so not in control of the meeting, but to have an aura on the stage. And Toastmaster Tarun has come fully prepared for this meeting. Very important and very well done, very commendable also. Toastmaster Tarun at least followed up with me, and also the evaluators, speakers, and everyone. Asking them what is your intro and what are your thoughts in the team. You tell me your intro introduction so that I'll introduce you accordingly. This is a lot of effort, and those of us did this with me, and I'm sure you did this with all of not just the speakers, but the evaluators as well. Now, what this does is it makes your job, uh, Tarun, also very uh, more impactful. Because when you're introducing the speaker, you're able to offer something new, something that we've not may or may not heard about that speaker before or evaluator. So that was very, very, I think it was well done. I think going forward, it's easy to say but difficult to do. Whoever is the Toastmaster of the day, try to interact with all the speakers, including the evaluators, general evaluators, so on and so forth, so that you get information about everybody. And that's something that Toastmaster Tarun did to 
throughout the course of this week, and I think that's highly commendable. And because of that, he had this good presence on the stage and was able, and he had that aura about him when he was on the stage and introducing the following speakers. I think it was very well done. Tarun has come just for the occasion, well prepared for the occasion, carried the meeting very well. I would like to have a big round of applause, please, for those smart speakers. Right, so, uh, all right, so on this note, I'd like to hand this back, to, uh, hand the meeting back to our uh, Toastmaster of the day, Tarun. Please come back on stage. Thank you, uh, Sunny. The president had to leave, so I'm the acting president to close the meeting. Before I close the meeting, I'd like to ask our guests for the feedback. Ajit, anything about the meeting, like about today's meeting? Uh, it was great, actually. Uh, I had no idea how to come up here with all the So I googled and found uh, some places. And I wanted to go on my own for you know, community and other organizations. So I was just googling everywhere and didn't find out the right place. And, uh, after coming here, I felt really comfortable. And when you sent me on the stage, I felt like it was good. I should Explore things because that's why I'm here. Right? And uh, thank you for giving me that photo and sending me all that. And I think it's a great experience so far. And, and, and thank you for making me so friendly and knowledgeable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, good evening, everyone. See, this is not new to me. I've already said twice here how the meeting goes. But uh, last few times I guess those who uh, came to talk so this time I can see what it is exactly. You know, it puts you in, you know, uh, it brings you out of your comfort zone. Hopefully I also come out of my comfort zone in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, it was really fun. Actually I came to talk about that. In fact I am planning to try this one. Well, I think the voting uh, has been passed. You can take your vote for the best speaker. The best. It is done. Sorry? Done. But I think <laughs> Akash, I think you have some. No, Eddie! Oh, Eddie! I actually have a couple of announcements. First things first, uh, it's always lovely to see hard work Toastmasters stepping out of the club, giving their best outside the club. Right? And I have two such Toastmasters who have done, who have stepped out of the club and gone above and beyond and got to be so first things first, I know he isn't here, but huge props and huge congratulations to and well with us for those who have died and missed the message from the group. <coughs> huge props and huge congratulations to Postmaster Kartnik because he stood second in the district level. <laughs> Secondly, someone who has served as one of the MCs for the coordination event this weekend. Uh, can we have a huge round of applause for Postmaster Sunny? <laughs> I can say for certain he did a fantastic job as one of the MCs. So another round of applause for being one of the MCs at the Now, my second announcement is we have a very, very special event coming up on the 10th of uh, the 10th of June, that is nine days from now, next to next Saturday. And this is the Division 8 finale. And this event is all about recognizing the con our contributions to Toastmasters, our contributions to our own uh, progressive community. So how we've done as a club, how we've all done as members. And this is this event is basically a tribute to all the members of Division 8. For how we have all performed as clubs and as members. So do be there, there's going to be a lot of fun events taking place, there's going to be performances, there's going to be keynotes and educational session. 
also going to apparently have a boosting post for illegals, which means I'm going to get killed over there. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he's happy about that. I think he's going to come because he's, he's happy about meeting the Muslim stage. But um, for everyone here, I would encourage each and every one of you to register because this is going to be a fun event. It is absolutely free to attend. So if you're free on, uh, on Saturday, 10th of June, in the evening, Please do make it. I will send the link, the registration link, the location details, and everything else on the Sunshine Book. So uh, please register and be there. We'll all go as one club, as one gang, Sunshine. And we'll all, let's all make it to the event. So that was my announcement. Bye. Thank you. Welcome for the ribbons, the best tag note player. Is <laughs> the best listener, Harita. The best role taker, Postmaster Sunny. Best speaker, they just 